that you can count on continues with Glenn Marini's Sports Report. There was quite a buzz around the Angola Hornets football program on Friday night, as for the first time since 2004, Angola able to beat Leo. The Hornets rallying to win 41-35, and we're proud to honor the Angola football team as your Optimum Performance Sports Team of the Week. I'm Matt Ross with Optimum Performance Sports. Ops is a proud sponsor of this week's Team of the Week. Congratulations on your victory this week. You are the new standard. We're out here at Angola High School, and it was lucky number 13. For the first time in 13 years, Angola beat Leo, joined by head coach Andy Thomas. What did that mean to you and to this team? Well, I think it says something about where we are as a program. Uh, for us as coaches and players, the biggest thing that it says is that we have a lot of mental toughness, and we try to tell our guys all the time that we put them through a lot of tough situations, and there's nothing that can happen in any game uh, or any other event that hasn't been uh, already ha that hasn't already happened to them or, or a tough thing that uh, they haven't already been through and, and uh, to get down in the game against a team in a program like that uh, just says a lot about our courage our guts and our mental toughness the games have been slightly lopsided the last few years how much belief was there in that locker room before the game well, I think we thought we were going to win we had a great week of practice uh, we had a great message throughout the week and uh, our guys felt that they were going to stand tall and uh, right, right up in, in uh, maybe those first couple of minutes of the game it, it kind of uh, went south a little bit, but really I don't think there was any one time where anybody looked at each other and, and, and thought we were going to lose a game. I thought we, we thought we were going to win the entire time. Well, we're joined by Jarrett Schultz and Chase Snap. He scored the game-winning touchdown, but there was a play in DeKalb where there was an onside kick where he kicked it, and it came back to the kicker, and luckily you saved his life there by tackling him to get that ball. That was a pretty good play, so we're going to try to reenact that play. So we got a holder, and we got a Gatorade bottle on top of a garbage can. So are you ready? Let's see if we can get this. Oh, yeah. yeah. Let's go. All right, you're up. You're up. You're up, Chase. All right. Let's see if you can do it. Onside kick. Here we go. See if you can get it. Just line it up. Watch out. Can he do it? Oh. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, man, we're over, too. We got to get this a little lower, gentlemen. Technique this time. Let's see if you can do it. You got to get it down. Oh. Oh, it stayed on there. That was close. Here we go. He's got it. More. <laughs> He's just giving it up. Chase is going to get it this. Oh, there we go. We'll get that one. That was knocked it down. We'll give you that one. That was good. Yeah. We're joined by uh, uh, Chase here. And what did it mean to beat Leo? Uh, it was a super big confidence booster since we have like we haven't beaten him in 13 years. So just to get out there and beat him was felt good. It's been lopsided against you guys the last couple of years. How did you have that belief in the locker room? You know, coming out in the second half, it was just like, okay, it's like this is our time. So we got to go out there, give it our all, and persevere and win the game. And how much can this win vault you guys this season? Well, like I said, it's going to be a big confidence booster going into next week, and we're just going to try to take every day one day at a time, and we'll see how it ends up. All right, congratulations to the Angola football team, your team of the week. And Angola will face Jimtown this coming Friday night. That'll do it for sports. We'll see you back here in two minutes.